Hi everyone, welcome back to Good Night Stories with Rita Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and tonight we're going to read How Do You Say Good Night? Illustrated by Catalina Echeverri. Hmm, I wonder what this book is about. It looks like this little zebra is asking these elephants how they say good night. If you're as excited to read this book as I am, be sure to give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That way, every time we have a new book to read, you can read along with us. All right, get snuggled in. Let's get started. The sun began to lower in the sky. Zoe the zebra needed to get ready for bed soon. But as she looked past her grassy home, she had a thought. How do others say good night before they're tucked in tight? Do they stop to pray before they hit the hay? Do they brush their teeth before they go to sleep? What's the very best way to end each wonderful day? So Zoe went on a search for the best way to say good night. How do you say good night? Zoe asked a pride of lions. We say good night with all of our might. We wrestle and roar and then play some more. We softly sing, then bow to our king, and then we growl good night. The zebra thought that sounded fun, but her search had just begun. Then Zoe asked a sounder of warthogs, how do you say good night? We find a puddle and lie down to cuddle. We wiggle our snouts, we squeal and we shout, and we thank God above for his sweet, gentle love. Then we grunt and snort, good night. She liked how warthogs end the day, but still continued on her way. When she neared a herd of elephants, she asked, How do you say good night? We eat a light snack and spray off our backs. And when it turns dusk, we brush off our tusks. We thank God for the fun we had under the sun. And then we trumpet, Good night! The zebra wanted to join in, but onward Zoe went again. Zoe walked up to a flock of ostriches and asked, How do you say good night? We all get together and preen our long feathers. We eat something sweet, a big bedtime treat. And then we tell stories of God's wonderful glory. Then we squawk, good night. The zebra liked that bedtime drill, but Zoe trotted further still. Little Zoe saw a troop of monkeys and asked, how do you say good night? We swing through the trees as fast as we please till we find a nice bed and cover our heads and thank God for our deep and comfortable sleep. Then we screech, good night. Zoe loved this bedtime groove, but she left still on the move. How do you say good night? Zoe asked a pod of hippopotamuses. All together we make our way down to the lake. We float near the surface and do this on purpose so we can breathe the night air and thank God for his care. And then we huff and puff. Good night. Sweet Zoe liked that fun good night, but she walked on soon out of sight. Now the sun was so low it barely peaked above the horizon. Zoe thought, I love the lion's roars and their deep and heavy snores. The hippos make me laugh when they make a giant splash. Each good night was great. Now I can hardly wait to say my own good night with my family snuggled tight. 
Zoe happily galloped back to her home. I'm ready to say good night, she announced. So the whole family walked to their favorite sleep spot. They stood close and nuzzled their soft, cuddly muzzles. The zebras thanked God for all that he's done. And then they yipped, good night. And it felt just right. I loved reading with you tonight. If you had fun, be sure to share this book and our channel with all your friends. And that way we can all read together again soon. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can follow us on our social media. We even give away free activities to go along with our books. I can't wait to see you again next time. Until then, don't forget, Rita Roo loves you. I hope you have really sweet dreams. Good night.